Hey, it's Kevin. Thanks so much for coming by for another No BS Social Media Chat. This may seem simple. With school back in session for so many, I, I guess for almost everybody by now, or close to it, I, I was thinking about school time. And the one thing I hated about school was taking notes. And it got me to thinking about, well, what we do with social media. And the one thing I run into time and time again is people not keeping notes. And you're saying, well, notes about what? And to me, it's notes about anything. I, I still keep, whether it's, well, a, a Moleskine binder next to me or, or even Post-it notes, I'm constantly writing down notes and transferring notes and keeping things in lists. And, and man, I've got lots of list tools online that I use to well, keep myself organized. Because what I found is if you're the guy, the girl that keeps the notes, that keeps the details, people are going to come back to you time and time again. I'll never forget years ago, I worked for a country music artist for many years and kind of helped and handled their social media. And I was the keeper of all the logins. And, and we worked together four or five years and they went in a different direction, didn't need any more social media help. So I went upon my way. We parted on nice friends. And about two or three years later, their artist manager called and said, hey, this is going to be a long shot, but do you have so-and-so's login for this particular website? I don't even remember what it was at this time. I'm like, hold on a second. Went to my notes. Yeah, here it is. Boom, boom, boom. She says, hold on. Click, click, click. Oh my gosh, thanks. We've been trying to get into this for three or four months now. We just couldn't figure out how to get back in. I said, you know what? I have every login and every change ever noted. Recently, one of my clients, we were uh, trying to clean up her YouTube page, get it tightened up, make it look good, make it match everything else. I said, can I get the login and the password? Um... I gotta find it. I don't know where it's at. Now I'm not saying you have to keep all your passwords in one place. We all have systems, whether it's password minders, whether it's notebooks, whether it's on paper, whatever it is, we've all got ways to remember those little things. But I've had problems with specifically recording artists over the years, numerous, probably at least a dozen so far, who could never remember the logins to their YouTube, how to get into their Instagram, anything like that. They always leave it for somebody else. I realize it's not my job to keep those notes, but I mean I've actually got links to well iTunes sales links and things like that, and, and, and Amazon links, and YouTube video links, and, and things we did years ago for clients I haven't worked with in 10 years. I'm always the guy who keeps the notes. Now, it's gotten easier since the digital world's come about. In fact, every memo I wrote for 10 years when I was in radio, I, I've got them. It's now on a floppy disk, which has been converted to digital files. I don't keep the paper files anymore. I kept those for a long time, but I keep notes. You never know when you're going to need to reference it, and lo and behold, back about a year and a half, two years ago, Somebody asked me for something we did back in September of 2002. I'm like, well, hold on a second, let me check. And it took me about 10, 15 minutes, but I found what we were looking for. And they were looking to replicate something, to share something with somebody, and they couldn't find their notes. So take notes, come up with an organized note system. It will definitely help with your social media. And even if it's just a note of, ooh, I need to jot this down or remind myself of it because it's going to come back and, and I could use it later, you'd be amazed sometimes when you're just looking for inspiration. I just go through notebooks of just random thoughts, random quotes, random whatever to get inspiration. There's no organization to them. It's kind of hard to organize notes like that, especially when you're just, oh, I see something on TV, I want to write that down. I may want to come back to that. Uh, I note, I put notes down. There's a, a website called Pocket that you can basically save website visits to. So you can go back and look at them. So I've got certain categories in Pocket because it's like, I'll find something interesting. It's like, oh, I'm going to want to go back and, and view that again but it's, I'm never going to find it in my favorites or anything like that. And I don't want to keep it in my favorites, so I found Pocket, and I'm able to organize them there. And again, it, it's about being organized. It's about taking notes. And this is not just for social media. This is going to help you in the digital future, too. And I don't care if it's physical written notes. I don't care if it's on a computer. I don't care if it's on an iPad, on a phone, whatever it is. By being organized, keeping notes, it's going to make your life easier, especially when it comes to social media. Because there's so much living in the moment. There's so much happening right now as it happens. You need those notes to be able to go back and, and revisit and retool and redo and rethink. And again, I think too with social media, and that's why we're talking about it, we're always looking for inspiration. We're always looking for ideas. And I'll be honest with you, there's sometimes even when it comes to these videos where you're just like, man, I don't have anything to talk about this week. Nothing new's happening. I don't want to rehash the same old thing in a different way. And I thought, huh, I ought to write a note about that. Lo and behold, <laughs> we have another No BS video. Some, from just a good organizational tool that really, I mean, has something to do with social media, but doesn't have something to do with social media. Uh, also a good way to get through life, too. I'm always the guy who's the keeper of whatever, whether it's artist promo pictures, whether it's video, whether it's audio, whatever it is, I don't get rid of anything. My wife tends to call me a pack rat. It's organized, though, at least. That's how I justify it to myself. It'll help your social media. It'll help your growth, your personal brand. It'll help you be organized. That way, when you don't want to be organized for that minute, you don't have to be. 
Back next week, another No BS social media chat. NoBSSocial.com, YouTube also has the videos. We got them up on a couple of Facebook pages as well too. Again, wherever you find these No BS social media videos, please come on back again next week because they're gonna be right here. Don't care where you watch them, just love that you watch it and would love for you to share with a friend. You wanna get a hold of me, my phone number, email address, they're coming up right here at the end of the video. You can pause it, get all that details. Thanks, see you next week.